Darren, you head up the Master of Disasters response team for Crossroads Church. Now, that's a very interesting name. How did you come up with it? Yeah, it's a little tongue-in-cheek. Uh, so four years ago, there were six of us that um, hopped on an airplane and went to central Pennsylvania to take uh, formal disaster response training alongside our uh, disaster partners, Hope Force International. Uh, Hope Force is based out of Nashville, Tennessee, and has been doing natural disaster response work um, internationally um, for a little over 15 years. Um, at that point in, in, in the life of Crossroads, we had had a, uh, a flooding event that had occurred in one of our neighborhoods close by to our main campus in greater Cincinnati. And um, although there was an organic neighborhood response and there were some Crossroads people, uh, community members who went and helped their neighbors, there was not a formalized mobilization of, of people and resources to go help those neighbors. And so that, that became pretty clear that that was something that Crossroads wanted to um, investigate and see if there was a way to put the team together. So um, six of us went to training in central Pennsylvania. And while we were on our way home, it's like, you know, this is, this is definitely a calling for me. Um, and that, and that sweet spot of where your, your giftedness, and your passions meet the world's needs. And that Venn diagram of that piece in the center that just is, is so good if you can find it. Um, it's like, I want to do this thing. I want to lead this group. And so we were, <laughs> we're kind of joking around in the car driving to the airport. And I said, you know, I, I don't know what we call ourselves, but I'm pretty sure that the theme song for the group needs to be ACDC's Thunderstruck. <laughs> and everyone kind of ch- everyone kind of chuckled and well I think we just need to call ourselves the masters of disaster. I'm like all right that's it we're done we're we're done we have a theme song we have a name let's just start helping people and so that's how it started. All right now I understand that your most recent response was in Winchester Kentucky. What happened there? Actually yeah th- so so there are 11 counties in central Kentucky that were recently aff- affected by um, a couple of, of natural events occurring simultaneously or pretty much side by side was there was a ton of, of snow and ice um, at the end of February. And then um, on top of that, as that was melting, um, several days of, of pretty torrential rain. And so so the Red River and the Kentucky River, both of those flooded out of their banks um, to the second highest flood level they've ever seen, um, that are recorded anyway. So there were a number of towns affected around the Red River Gorge and the Kentucky River um, Valley. And uh, Winchester just happens to be about 15 minutes from our, our crossroads site in Lexington. And so we have people on staff that live in Lexington. We have um, community members who attend our Lexington site that live in Winchester. And in fact, one of those couples um, and their family that volunteer in our student ministry in Lexington, um, their house flooded, and they had they had almost 10 feet of water in their home. Um, and uh, thank goodness they they have a um, their their first floor is a basically a basement garage and apartment, and then their living their living space is on the second and third floor of their dwelling. So so although they took a ton of damage. Um, there were other neighbors in their community there that um, did not did not live on stilts or above the you know the water level at that point, and and it flooded their entire neighborhood. So um, they were doing water rescues around um, March the first, um, and um, it was it was just really bad. Had enough damage from flooding in that area that, um, especially with it being community members. We decided that it was um, you know, well worth us to, to go down and investigate it, see how we could help, see how we could, um, you know, kind of pitch in with those folks and honestly, you know, show them God's love, grace, and forgiveness and just support um, through our hands and feet. So we mobilized pretty quickly. I had actually been in a, on a deployment in Texas after the ice storms in Texas and, um, a whole nother story, but spun around and, and with a, with a day's notice at home and went down to, we actually went to Beattyville, Kentucky and, and Winchester to help. So that's what we were doing, kind of helping people clean up from, from mud and silt and wet insulation and drywall and 
um, all the stuff that comes along with that. So you're talking about messy work. Oh, absolutely. That is get get your hands dirty work, without a doubt. So other than flooding, uh, what other kind of local disasters have, have you responded to as a group? When you live along, in greater Cincinnati, you live along the Ohio River, there's there's flooding from time to time in the springtime. Um, but we have we had a tornado event um, that occurred around our Dayton site uh, over Memorial Day, uh, Memorial Day of, of 19. Um, and they are they, they are still kind of getting things back to normal in Dayton around that. So so tornado tornadoes are, are big around here in the Midwest. So we responded to, to some in Nashville and Chattanooga and hurricanes. So we responded to the hurricanes that hit. Lake Charles, Louisiana, last fall. So we were there. Yeah. So it's it's not just in our backyard, but um, uh, around the country as well. I happen to notice on on the, the logo for your organization, uh, the, the Masters of Disaster, there was this little object that looked like a flying saucer. Tell me about that. Well, it was either alien invasion with flying saucers and little spacemen, or it was going to be zombies. Um, we. We do like to have fun. Uh, when, I mean, it is dirty and, and nasty and, and hard and hot work sometimes, and we try to bring just a level of fun in it as well. So, again, a little tongue-in-cheek. The You know, we, we have images for hurricane, fire, flood, earthquake, and then that last little, that last little box um, had to have a little flying saucer in it. So you're ready for anything, in other words. <laughs> just about yeah right. yeah we li- we'd like to think so so as a as a leader as a christian yourself what is it that that motivates you to go out and do this it's a lot of work it is and um you know as i mentioned before it definitely felt like it's it's a calling um and there are a number of other people that that feel the exact same way that when when our neighbors are hurting when our our brothers and sisters are hurting when people that we don't know have not met don't know where they are in their faith walk when those people are hurting um our group and i know there are others in addition to it but our group definitely feels that tug or that push toward you know we we are blessed how can we bless those people how can we help them how can we bring a little bit of hope to their day and we don't know where they are in their faith walk. We don't know if they're believers or not believers. And honestly, we don't care. We we hope that God is putting the right people in front of us and challenging each one of us as we do that work with them, that um, we get an opportunity to have a conversation and hear their story and share a little bit of our story and maybe maybe pray with them. Um, you know, there are a number of secular organizations out there that do disaster response work and recovery work. And we, we like to think that that what we do is a little bit special because we bring Jesus with us. And um, we get we get that opportunity if we're paying attention to it. Uh, we get the opportunity to share uh, who he is and, and why he's important to us and why we feel that he is really the reason that we are there helping them. I would imagine Coming back from a mission, uh, you know, you're you're talking with your your fellow volunteers and so forth. I mean, you kind of feel good about what you do, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, if people would like to to know more about your organization, uh, where can they go for for maybe online to find out more? Yeah, r- right at the moment, uh, the best place for them to go is Crossroads website at crossroads.net. Uh, if they go to crossroads.net slash go, all of our reach out stuff and everything that we do outside of the four walls of the church is detailed on that page. And for right now, there is a sign up link. If you scroll down a little bit on that page, you'll see uh, Winchester, Kentucky flooding and a little bit of information and how to volunteer, how to get engaged. And um, uh, so that's probably the best place for people to look for that. And Anytime you're on our crossroads.net site, there will be a little a little chat box that will pop up, and you can actually talk to a live individual if you can't find what you're looking for. There's someone on our front door team that would be happy to, to either text with you or, or connect via phone call. All right. Darren Kroger, we sure appreciate your talking with us. Richard, thanks so much. I appreciate uh, you getting the word out.